hello everyone welcome to the youtube channel ankit math magics this youtube channel is all about mathematics the concepts of electronics and the concepts of computer science so in today's video we will be discussing a really interesting problem from the mathematics concepts that is the laplace transform so i will be solving a sample problem based on the concepts of laplace transform here stepwise and simultaneously discussing about the various concepts and the short tricks and the formulas that are to be used while solving any problem from the Laplace transform. So in today's video we will be calculating the Laplace transform for sin cube 2t. So we will be solving this problem stepwise on this paper here but before that guys let me request you to please 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 subscribe to our YouTube channel as it gives us the confidence to come up with better videos every time. So let's start the solution to this problem with a big smile on the face. All right. So here we have sine cube of 2t. Now the main challenge that lies here is that we really do not have a direct formula that we can directly apply to the sine cube power in terms of Laplace transform. So we really have to kind of break down this entire power into either sum of two different functions or a difference of two different functions that is some kind of a a plus b or a, a minus b kind of a format so we'll start focusing on this part here here we have sine cube of 2t so we will be taking the help from trigonometric formulas that you have learned in the earlier classes to resolve this part into two or more simpler functions now the formula where sine cube theta arrives is of sine 3t or 3 theta so the formula for sine 3 theta is 3 sine theta minus 4 sine cube theta. Now if I compare this sine cube theta to this particular sine cube here, the only difference that can be seen that in place of theta, I have to substitute this value as 2 theta. So this entire expression will turn into terms of uh, 2 t uh, uh, in terms of 2 t. So that means in place of theta, let us sup suppress, uh, let us uh, replace this theta by 2t. So this becomes 2t. This will be 3 sine 2t minus 4 sine cube 2t. So that means this will be sine of 6t. This will be 3 sine 2t and minus of 4 sine cube 2t. In the next step, what we have to do is to calculate the value of this sine cube uh, 2t and uh, let's shift this to the left hand side. So that means in a way, the value of sine cube 2t will be as uh, let's say 3 upon 4 and uh, sine of 2t. This will be minus 1 upon 4 sine of 6t. So what I've done is I've basically shifted 4 sine cube t on this side and sine 60 on this side and then I've divided the entire part from the left hand side and the right hand side by 4. So here I have the value of sine cube 2t. Let us substitute this particular value in the required question. So that means the Laplace transform for sine cube 2t can be written as Laplace transform for 3 upon 4 sine 2t minus 1 upon 4 sine of 60. So after that the only thing left is the direct application of the formula for Laplace transform. So this will be L of 3 upon 4 sine of 2t minus L of 1 upon 4 sine of 60. So as per the rules, the constants do not interfere with the Laplace transform. So we can take the 3 by 4 part common outside. So this will be the Laplace transform for sine 2t minus 1 upon 4 Laplace transform for sine of 60. So now we'll directly apply the formula for sine t Laplace. So we know that the formula for Laplace transform of sine bt can be taken as b upon s square plus b square so this is the formula that can be applied to this part as well as to this part here the value of b while applying this formula in this part will be taken as 2 and the value of b while applying in this part will be 6 so this will be uh, let me shift this paper a little bit all right so this will be 3 upon 4 the value of b here is 2 so this is multiplied by 2 divided by s square plus 2 square that is 4 
and this will be minus 1 upon 4 multiplied by the value of b here is 6 so this is 6 divided by s square plus 36 let's cancel out the common term so this is 2 this is 2 and 3 so the final answer that we get is 3 upon 2 times s square plus 4 minus 3 upon 2 s square plus 36 in the next step if you want you can either take the lcm or leave this question as such however if you take the lcm then the final answer that you will get is 48 whole divided by s square plus 4 multiplied by s square plus 36 so this my friend right here is the final answer to this particular problem so i hope this example of last plus transform was informative enough and for more such videos don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel as it gives us the confidence to come up with better videos every time thanks for watching